about layer masks, more commonly known as split screens. Basically, I'm here, we take a picture of me. And then, I jump up, I come over here, and we take another picture of me. Then we just take these two frames, we put them on top of each other, we cut the front one in half to reveal the one behind, and bammo, there's both of us, both of me, in the frame. Now that you understand the concept, let's jump on the computer and I'll show you exactly how it's done. First thing I should mention though is if you're gonna do this, you need the proper software. I prefer PowerDirector. That's just my personal choice. That's what I'm gonna be using today and showing you guys how to do this. If you guys are interested in an in-depth tutorial on how to use this program, how do you make layer masks and all of that kind of good stuff, then just, just exit out of this movie and I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to hit that thumbs up on the way out. Now that they're gone, let's get down to business. Here we are in PowerDirector. Go to Import, Import Files, find the video clip we're looking for, and I'm gonna use that one from the beginning of the video. And you'll notice we have several places we can drag it down here on the bottom. First step is bring the clip where I'm walking out of the door down to track number one. And then we take the video clip where I'm walking in from the left and place it on track number two. Now these are on top of each other. The next step is to go to designer and hit mask designer. This opens up a whole new window where we just design masks. The most simple one is just this square. We'll select it and you'll now notice a box pop up. We can move this around, move it over here. It's cutting that top frame in half and we can see the one behind it. There we have it, two of them. That's the really, really basic layer mask. If you're just sitting there having a conversation, just doing a split screen is good enough. But as soon as we start walking, things get way more complicated. Let me show you what's going on here. When I start walking, you'll see me go right behind that mask and I'll disappear. Boom, I'm gone. So, we go back into our mask designer. Here's our mask box. What we can do is we can push position down here. And that adds a little keyframe down here on this track. We move this mask over all the way off the edge of the screen over there and you'll notice it just added a new keyframe down there. What it's doing is it's making that mask move. You can hit play. I can walk right out of the screen, and I never walk behind it. Though you will notice if you look really closely, let's play it back again, you look really closely, you can see the shadow moving right there because that's where the mask ends. And to fix that problem, we can do what's called a feather edge, where the edge isn't just a straight line, it's actually like blurred out as it goes. Looking back at the screen, we can scroll down here and we have all these different options to affect our mask. We want to go to feather radius. Turn that up. Now, the shadow will still move, but it's so much more subtle. It's barely noticeable. I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. We'll hit OK, and here's our finished product. So that's it for today, folks. I hope you learned something. I hope that made sense. If it didn't, please leave comments below. And be commenting anyway. If you have any other video or photo questions, please be leaving them below. I'd be glad to answer questions or even make videos. Hit that like button on the way out. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.